Welcome to our step-by-step -step guide on installing the 8-module smart switch plate. This setup includes a 4-touch switch, a fan-touch switch, a 2-touch switch, and a non-smart socket, with a load capacity of 6 amps. Before we begin, let's understand the electrical connections. The socket features three terminals, the live marked as L, neutral marked as N, and earthing marked as E. The two-touch switch has four terminals, two load terminals marked as 1 and 2, live marked as L, and neutral marked as N. The fan touch switch includes three terminals, fan load marked as F, live marked as L, and neutral marked as N. The four-touch switch is equipped with four load terminals marked as 1, 2, 3, and 4, along with live and neutral. First, switch off the MCB. Now, let's connect the neutral terminals. Take small pieces of wire and loop the end terminals of all switches together. Next, do the same for the live, that is L terminals to ensure consistent power distribution. Once done, this is how it will look. The end terminal of the four touch switch is looped to the fan touch switch's end terminal using a black wire. Similarly, fan touch switch's end terminal is looped to two touch switch's end terminal. And two touch switch's end terminal is further looped with socket's end terminal. For live terminals, the four touch switch's L terminal is looped to the fan touch switch's L terminal using a red wire. Similarly, Fan touch switches L terminal is looped to two touch switches L terminal. And two touch switches L terminal is further looped with sockets L terminal. Now, connect the neutral and live wires from the gang box directly to the sockets L and N terminals. Alternatively, the neutral and live wires can be connected to any other switches N and L terminals. Then, connect the earthing wire, green one, to the socket's E terminal. Now, connect the load wires. For two-touch switch, load wires will go into terminal one and two. For the fan touch switch, it is crucial to mark the fan load wire beforehand to prevent incorrect connections. To ensure accuracy, we have tied a knot to the fan load wire. Now we will connect this to the F terminal of the fan touch switch. Similarly, we will connect four load wires to the four touch switch through its four load terminals labeled as 1, 2, 3, and 4. In this connection, by default, the socket remains on and is not controlled by any switch. However, if you wish to control it using a switch, the wiring needs to be adjusted. It is important to note that the socket should never be connected to the four-touch switch. It must always be connected to the two-touch switch. Here's how to set up the correct connection. Remove the load wire from any terminal of the two-touch switch. Here, we remove it from terminal two. Loosen the L terminals on the socket and the two-touch switch. Remove the looped live wire between the socket and the two-touch switch. During this process, we have also disconnected the loop wire between the two-touch and fan-touch switch. Reconnect it. Take the live wire that we have removed from the socket and connect it to any live terminal of the switches. Here, we are connecting it to the four-touch switch's L terminal.
Finally, to connect the socket to the two-touch switch, we will take a small piece of wire and connect one end to terminal 2 of the two-touch switch and the other end to the socket's L terminal. To test the socket connection we will insert a smart plug into the socket and check if it responds to the assigned switch button. To do that, we will first switch on MCB. Once assured that connection is done properly we will fix the switch plate. To fix the plate remove the upper cover plate. Align the switch plate with the gang box. Tighten the screws and attach the cover plate. As power is restored, the four touch, fan touch and two touch switches will show blinking LED indicating that the device is in configuration mode. Do a final check to confirm all connections work as expected and move on to app integration. Ensure that your mobile phone's Bluetooth is enabled and mobile data is turned off. Connect to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. Download and open the Smart Life app. Login into the app. Tap on the plus icon on the top right corner of the screen. Then select Add Device. The app will search for nearby devices. Click Add. Enter your Wi-Fi name and password. Then tap Next. Select the device and add. Click Done. Integration with Alexa. Open the Alexa app. Bottom right. Tap More. Tap on Skills and Games. Search for Smart Life app. Select App. Click Enable to use. Click Agree and Link. Wait for Smart Life to confirm linking. Tap Close and let Alexa find your devices. When a device to add is found, click Next. Select the common group you would like to add the device. Click Add to Group. Once the device is added to Group, click Continue and Done. You can view all linked devices on Alexa showing their current state that is on or off. Let's try controlling them with voice commands. Alexa, switch off fan. Okay. Integration with Google. Open the Google Home app. Tap the Settings tab in the bottom right corner. Under Services select Work with Google. Look for Smart Life in the search bar. Tap on the Smart Life logo that appears. Click Continue to proceed. Next click on Agree and Link. Return to the home screen of the app. Tap on Devices. Refresh the page to update the device list along with their current status that is on or off. Let's try controlling them with voice command. Hey Google. Turn off fan. Okay. Integration with Siri Launch the Smart Life app on your device. Locate the bottom navigation bar and tap the Scene icon. Within the Scene section click Tap to Run option. Then select Create Scene. Choose Launch Tap to Run. Tap the plus icon in front of Then section. Choose Control Single Device. Select the device you want to operate. Pick the function you want to adjust using your voice command. In this case we will choose power on and off. Select power. Then select on and save it. Assign a name to your scene that reflects its purpose. This name will be your default Siri trigger phrase. In this case it will be turn on fan. Similarly, we will add a command to switch off the fan.
The command trigger here will be turn off fan. On tap to run screen, navigate to to the bottom right corner and select add to Siri. Click plus and done. Same way add on command to Siri. Let's check the voice command. Hey Siri, turn on fan. Okay, done.